Hi, it's Sandra here from Creative Spain and today I'm going to show you a great effect with some embroidery stabilizer, some texture gel, glitter and some colors because even if all you have is a plain gel Put a good water of gel there on my mat. I've got a piece of acetate on here. My surface is glass, um, but I've got a piece of acetate on there because when it comes to wiping away glitter and paint and gel, I prefer just to be able to pick it up and throw it away. And what I'm going to do is to mix in some silver glitter with this. Now you could use whatever glitter or colour you fancy, but I'm just going to use some silver. And I'm going to take a palette knife and I'm going to mix this together before my room fan decides to blow it around everywhere. So now it looks a bit weird because it looks as though it's gone grey, but it won't be when it dries, don't worry. It'll be nice and clear. So I'm going to take a watch of that and move it to one side. Go and move the other watch up to this side and I'm going to colour them just by adding one drop in this particular case it's diluted uh, water colour ink and this one is going to give me a very very weak colour mm, not strong enough so I'm going to get something a little stronger. Which happens to be the undiluted watercolour ink. Now the thing is, you might think to yourself, well I don't have these expensive inks, you don't need it. You could get yourself some cheap bottles of food colouring and do precisely the same thing. Now that is definitely up to the colour stakes. There we go. So I'm going to start off on the top and put this lovely pink on here, just putting it through a stencil. And then I'm going to add some blue to this and this is quite a deep blue so I should hopefully get a nice purple colour add a bit of pink to that it's a bit too blue and some more gel oh yeah that's going to lovely colour now I'm not going to mix this thoroughly I'm just going to let it sort of be a bit streaky and then put that on here like so now if I wanted that to be really flat then obviously I would use a card to go over the entire surface not just a little palette knife but I'm not unduly bothered but I think that's going to give me a really pretty effect which I could use as a background now I've just used a stencil which I've cut out of card if you are going to reuse it, you would have to use one which is made out of a waterproof material. So that's that. Now, if I wasn't about to use a stencil, I'll just add it into my background bit like that. I think that'll be fun. Okay. Now, the reason I've chosen to do this on this embroidery backing is because and I've got some samples here. This is done on a black card, but as you can see, because of the moisture in the gel, it warps it. So if you want to do it on card directly, then you need to add a gesso layer in order to waterproof the card, or you need to put some varnish on it, something. You need to waterproof the card first because otherwise it's just going to wrinkle. This has now had time to dry and I hope you can see on camera it shimmers and shines with variegated colour. It's just pretty spectacular. 
Now I have done effects like this with um, just using a fabric medium but that doesn't give you the actual texture, it's a flat finish. But that I think would look superb as a background or possibly die cut in two different shapes for accents on cards. And this would make a really nice background for something to be put in front of it. I can imagine things like, you know, owls on branches, that type of stuff. I have cut out the one that I did on black card. Um, it is a bit wavy, but it could still be used if it was put onto a foam mount, something to give it a little more support on the back, because it's certainly not flat. But this is perfectly flat. This, it doesn't make any difference how wet it gets. And that is one of the brilliant things about it. It also retains some transparency, which is fun. But if you didn't want it to be transparent, you could always put a card underneath it that was darker, or even a white card if you wanted to have parts of it to be opaque. Here's a card that I made from the piece of embroidery backing that you saw me smearing with gel just now. And I think you'll find that it looks pretty stunning. The little dots have been added with a stencil and I simply used a silver embossing gel to go through the stencil and then added a frame and a sentiment. The whole purpose of this card is simply to show off the background. But I'm pretty pleased with it. I hope you are too.